Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do the little dots will do you. This is a crochet blanket by one of the designers at Yarnspirations and this is Emily's design. So what we're going to do is work on this and I'm going to show you how to make these squares. These are really quite simple and fabulous. So Emily has you all hooked up with colors as you see just pop 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 right in the centers. Of course those colors are subjective to you as well. Then on page number two, fabulous page, she's provided us with the diagram that you see. There's only four rounds and in the corners we have the popcorn that is popping out which gives it the look. And when you start putting these together it gives you a lattice like look and it's really quite fun. You're gonna whip stitch these together. There's tutorials already available here on YouTube for whip stitching your squares together. You're just gonna whip stitch them, put them all together and then and you're just gonna slam a really quick border around it which is just one double crochet evenly worked around it and then put four double crochets in each of the four corners of your afghan. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this square. Once you get to see this I think you're, you're gonna be off to the races in no time. So without further ado let's get started. We need a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to play. The yarn suggested by Emily is Peyton's Classic Wool Worsted but I'm using Karen Simply Soft here on camera just as a full disclaimer to you. So let's get started. We're going to begin with a slip knot and just make that real quick and we're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, and four and we're going to do the beginning popcorn. So this already the one it, the last one here is the the very center of your square and the other three are part of the beginning popcorn. So going from the last one it's all the way down okay and you are going to just start doing a popcorn. So you're going to do uh, four more double crochets so right into that one. So one and two, three, and four. So how to do popcorn if you don't know what it is. You're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to go in the very top of the turning chain that you started with right over here and insert your hook in and you're going to put that loop back onto the hook like you see and then pull through and look at that pop just goes pop. So now what I want you to do is that we're going to chain a total of five. So do that. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now where the other one is already popping out at the base of it you're going to put another popcorn. So to do the popcorns now from going forward you're just gonna put five double crochets into that one. So one and two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna make a pop. So just pull out the hook, keep the loop, Go into the very first double crochet that you started with in the group of five going in. Grab the loop and pull it through and look at that. It just popped. So then do another chaining of five. So one, two, three, four, five and going into the center of this one again. Let's make it pop. So five double crochets again. So one, two, three, four and five and you're making it pop. So drop that hook or drop the loop. Go into the first one, grab the loop and then pull through. And now you got, you can see now you have three pops. You gotta do one more. So chain fives. So one, two, three, four, five. Going into the center again. Just go right up over top of that uh, beginning strand and then you can get that stuck underneath and then you don't have to worry about it later. So five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five and let's make this pop. So drop the loop, go into the beginning one, grab the loop, pull through and now to finish this off you can see you have four pops going on. So to finish off you're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and then just slip stitch to the beginning pop that you have. So just slip stitch it right where the other one is right in the top and just slip it and then get rid of this color. So let's uh, fasten off this color and let's me uh, do this from this point. To review fastening off just keep an extra long yarn tail and then just pull that strand through. So just loop it and pull through and lock it and then using the hook just weave it in and out of the chain. Just try to do the whole chain, all five of them. 
and by doing this you're gonna have to go into this um, stitch any or like this chain anyway in the future. So by putting it here it pretty much will be stuck permanently. Okay so once you get that done then just pull it out and if you did not cover over top of the starting strand like I had then you're gonna have to weave that in as well and then once you're satisfied with that you could just turn it over to the back side and then cut that out too. And we're gonna move on to the next round which is round number two. So let's begin round number two. So I'm gonna create a slip knot first and I'm gonna go to a top of any one of the popcorns to begin. So we're just going to just go right into the top, grab the yarn, the slip knot, pull it through and keep it on the hook and now I want you to chain a total of three. So one, two, three and this is your first double crochet. Put down the yarn strand on top of the line so that it gets stuck underneath and I want you to double crochet twice. So one, just right around the whole chain and there's now two double crochets there. So now we're gonna put a pop next and what we're going to do before we do that is chain two. So we're making space for the pop and then we're coming back into that space again and we're gonna do five double crochets. So let's count this out together. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there is your grouping of five. So release that, go to the beginning one of the group of five, grab the loop, pull through and now that just popped. So now you're gonna chain two. So one and two and that locks that pop into position. So I can move that straggler into the back here. I'm just gonna let it go and I've already chained my two. So now I'm going to come into the um, same space that I'm currently working in. So just move it. See how I just move that? Just move it and you're going to double crochet two more times. So one and two. So each chain uh, five spaces starts off with two double crochets then it does chain two, you puff, chain two and then two double crochets. So now at top of the puff we're going to double crochet in and then we're gonna move on to the next chain five space on the other side of the puff. So let's do that. So to begin the next chain five space you're going to put in two double crochets. So one and two and then you're gonna follow it up. Make sure I get that second one in there. You're gonna follow it up then with a chain two. So one and two and then you're going to do a puff into that same space. So five double crochets then to make the puff. So one, two, three, four and five. Drop the loop, go into the beginning one of the group of five, grab the loop, pull it through. And now chain two, one and two and in the same space if you don't have any space left just move it and then double crochet two more times in there before moving on. Okay so now at the top of the puff you're going to put one double crochet and then jump into the next chain five space. So two double crochets, so one and two followed by chain two and then a puff. So it's, or sorry, a popcorn. So one, two, three, four and five. Drop the loop, go into the beginning one, pull it through and there's your popcorn. Then chain two and two to more double crochets into that same space. So there's a lot going on in these corners which is awesome. And then you move to the next top of the next popcorn. So Okay, so this is your last one. You can see you're coming all the way around. So then two double crochets, chain two and now a popcorn. So there's five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Drop it, go to the beginning one of the group of five, pull it through, chain two and then in this last section just two double crochets and you're done. So just uh, slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three that you started with. So that's all you need to do for round number two. We have two more rounds to do. You can see the popcorn is gonna be jumping out eventually as we get moving on too. So let's uh, continue on to round number three. So round number three we're gonna immediately start up when chain three counts as a double crochet and now there's gonna be four double crochets in a row. So the next two 
are in double crochets itself. So one and two and then the final two are going to be in the chain two space. So one and two. And like before, remember how we chain two before doing a, uh, the popcorn? We have to do that again. So one, two, go in the top of the popcorn and you're going to popcorn again. So there's gonna be five double crochets. It might be a little tight to get it in there but once you start establishing it, it'll open up. So we have one, two, we have three, four, and five. Okay, drop it, go into the beginning one, pull the loop through, and remember to chain two. So one and two, and then into the same space, you're going to put in two double crochets, just like you did before when you started, before you did the popcorn, and then you're going to double crochet your, yourself all the way across to the next space. So you can either count it, but I wouldn't. Why would you? Um, if you're already comfortable in your pattern, you can count it. If you're not, then count. It's up to you. Um, it's something that I'm, I'm pretty consistent about. So you're going into all the double crochets and here's the next chain two space. So you're gonna put in two double crochets, one and two, then chain two, and then popcorn in the top of the other popcorn that's there. So it's five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Drop the loop, go to the first one, pick up the loop, pull through, chain two, kind of locks it and then in the same space you're gonna put two double crochets. So I want you to continue all the way around. This is round number three and just uh, double crochet in each one of the double crochets, chain two space, you're gonna put two and then you'll put chain two, put your, pop, uh, put your popcorn on top of the popcorn and etc. So please do that all the way for the remaining of this round and then we'll carry on to round number four, the final round. So now coming out all, all the way around, I'm just doing the final two double crochets in and then I run into the chain three. So just slip stitch it to the beginning of the top of the chain three and there you go. So you can see the popping is now starting to happen and we got one more round to go. So you're gonna chain up three and just work the double crochets as you see them and the corners are gonna be identical. So just one double crochet in each until you get to a corner space which is the chain two so here's the chain two. So follow it up and put two more double crochets into that chain two first and then chain two and then a popcorn on top of the other popcorn. So just move it forward so you can see it. So it's five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Drop the loop go to the beginning, pull it through, chain two and then in the same space on the other side is that you're going to put in two double crochets. So lots going on in there. So just double crochet across and then in the chain two space, two more double crochets, chain two, popcorn in the top of the popcorn, chain two and then two more double crochets and then keep moving yourself all the way around. This is the final round of this particular square. So let me get you to the end of the round and quickly review. So now coming up all the way around and I'm just slamming in my double crochets as I go. No big deal, everything's life is good. And I got no complaints going on here. Once you get all the way around, you're just gonna slip stitch then to the top of the first one and then that's it. So there is what your square will look like and then you're just gonna whip stitch it. We have tutorials available here on YouTube on how to whip stitch. So if you use the back loop when you're doing the whip stitch, um, you can actually um, do an invisible join if you want to uh, with your other squares. So you'll notice that the very middle of the of the popcorns when we did it are turned in a like a cross and then the rest are going up on an angle. So it's actually kind of a neat idea. So you got to play with that. Uh, you get to play with the different colors and it's really quite fun. So get rid of all your tail ends and then just uh, uh, put this together. So once you have it all together then you're just going to just do one quick border. So you'll have all of them together. Emily has the different kinds of um, squares, the colors are listed and then once you have it all done then you're just gonna put a double crochet border around and in the, uh, the 
the very edge of it you're just going to put in a total of four double crochets right into the very edge corners and there's only four corners of course because it is a, a, a rectangular afghan. So it's a really neat idea. I think it's quite fun and fabulous. The other side is flat where the, uh, the front side is the nice bubble or popcorns that you see. So until next time have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.